G'day and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm doing valve stem seals on the Valiant. So I started doing this maybe three or four days ago. I'm in my front yard and the rain came and it slowed me down. So today I'm going to hopefully finish it. I've done the seals on this side. Let me show you what they were like. Just hard and broken like porcelain. So on startup she was um, blowing a bit of smoke. And you can't have a car that looks like this and it's blowing smoke. It's pretty easy to do. You don't have to take the heads off. I'll go through how that's done. Um, but yeah, she was getting a little bit too much upper cylinder lubrication for my liking. So we'll sort that out now. I'll put this side back together and then we'll get on the other side and we'll start from scratch and I'll show you how it's done. listen and make sure everything's okay then we'll start on the other side. Beautiful. So first things first we take the rocker cover off or the valve cover, pull the plugs out and um, we'll go from there. get to the valve springs which are over the valves and in between the valve springs and the valves is one of those little rubber seals which are gone hard so they're probably 30 years old so rip this off and then we'll get to uh, what we've got to do here but first I'll just rip these plugs out because they've got to come out as well So the way these are done normally is the heads come off, then the valves come out, you redo your valves, you redo your seats, you put new valve seals in there and put all the springs back together, put the head back on. But when you've got a good running engine and all you need to do is the valve stem seals, sure this could do with a rebuild but it's a good running engine, you don't need to pull the thing apart. But you have to have compression because if you've got no compression this ain't going to work. So what I've got here is a hose that screws into the spark plug hole. And what you do, screw that into the spark plug hole, like so, one handed. You plug that into your compressor, you open the valve, and what it does, it compresses the air in that cylinder keeping those two valves closed. So it's forcing the valves up, then I'll put my valve tool on there, I can remove the valves without worrying about the actual, sorry, I can remove the springs without worrying about the valves falling into the cylinder. If you're gonna do it this way, you must compress the cylinder with air, otherwise you're gonna drop valves. And you do not want that, because it just means you have to pull the whole head off, which on a V8 means, means the manifold and everything, so good job. So what I like to do first, I'll connect my airline, I'll open the valve, you'll probably hear the engine turn because what happens, the piston goes to the bottom, so you'll hear a bit of a leak, and what I'll do now, with the hammer, just lightly tap on top of the collets, just to release them from the valves. So when they're compressed, they come apart easy, and that's done. So I'll stop my air for a second, I'll get my valve tool, and um, we'll chuck it on. That's a valve spring compressing tool. Now this is a cheap Chinese thing, I paid $13 including post. It's not the best, and I did struggle with it yesterday, but it was raining and it was dark. Um, but it does work, and it allows you to take the springs off without removing the valves from the head. Loose. 
you can see that if it's focusing. All right. There's no air in that cylinder at the moment because I had to turn the compressor off to demonstrate this. But down here, there's little collets which have to come out. And they're little, you can drop them, you can lose them easily. So the best way to do that is with a magnet. I normally use a magnetized screwdriver. Now, this screwdriver isn't magnetized, so I'm going to show you how to magnetize a screwdriver. Alrighty, so to magnetize a screwdriver, you need one screwdriver. You need a piece of electrical wire, preferably with the uh, insulation on it, because it's going to get hot. And a car battery, which we have right here. So, all you do is wind the wire around the screwdriver. Like so. And to prove this isn't really magnetic, look, there's nothing. So, around the screwdriver and then freak it out on the terminals for a bit. Let it smoke up. Come on. I'm not burning myself. There it goes. Alright. You know it's ready because the wire will melt and get hot. Same screwdriver, magnetized. How good's that? Let's get these collets out. Check it.
Job done. Time to reassemble. Simple as that. It's all back together. I'm just going to, apart from the brake, master cylinder and booster because I had to remove that to get to that side. But um, we'll fire it up, make sure she's all sweet, and happy days. So I'll put the brake master cylinder back on. Well, that's it. Valve compression hose, valve spring tool, and about 50 minutes work. So yeah, easy peasy. There's a lot, I know there's a lot of mechanics that don't know that trick, but um, yeah, I hope you found that informative. And that's it. So stay tuned. Be good to your mates. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. I hope you like the new channel name. Um, lots of stuff coming in that direction. So yeah, stay tuned. Cheers. Beautiful.